All right, welcome back, beautiful Brigandine fans, to your armor guide for Brigandine Legend of Renarisia. So we're going to go ahead here and cover the medium gear that goes on monsters here, okay? So we're going to look at this lizard guard here and uh, see what all the pieces of gear that we can equip him with and uh, see what they do. All right, so this is the very first piece of gear, and if uh, you're new to this game, this is a strategy game, and it's quite fun, but with the leaders and the monsters, in comparison to the original game, leaders and monsters can equip four pieces of gear. Now, usually it's a weapon, a body, body armor, and either a gauntlet or a headpiece of gear, and then a ring. So, in this game, too, when you put this equipment on here, we have three tiers. We have a white tier, you know, we have a purple tier, and we have a gold tier. And the tiers determine the rarity and the uh, ability of it. So, but the gold gear is the best, and the white gear is not so much. So, this piece of gear is going to give me 10 HP and 3 evasion. All right. Before we get into it, definitely uh, smash a like and subscribe for more. That would help my channel grow. And thanks everybody that has already done so. You are helping the channel grow. We are getting Brigadine content out there to the masses. And this is definitely going to help out a lot of people. Okay, so I just have to just have to say that. But tough gear is the basic gear you get at the beginning. Let me move up to fine gear. We'll put that on. We've got three defense, six HP, and evasion. And so, all right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the right side of the screen. You're going to see things kind of change as we move up into new pieces here. And uh, that'll make the video a little bit easier for me uh, to push out there so it's not so long. And so uh, I have a lot of extra fine gear here. <laughs> Let's go up to the next one is heavy gear. So heavy gear gives us 10 HP more and 4 defense, right? Okay. So that's what it does, so heavy gear is pretty good. Scale gear, we lose that HP, that's why we see the, um, you know, the HP going in the red there, and the defense staying in the green, plus four, an evasion of 5%. Steel protector here gives us, pretty much the steel protector is the highest piece of gear for the white tiers of, you know, the one star gear right here. And it's got eight defense, so we put that on there. And I'd have to say it's probably the best piece of gear you can get for the white tiers. So if you see um, heavy scale and steel, those will be the best, but steel is the best. All right, all right. Black curious. Now this one, I know we're going into purple gear, but this is going to give us a purple dot defense, which could help you defending against like Tim or Stella or something like that. Uh, or some dark dragons or something like that, right? So we put on the um, the black curious, right? And uh, it gave us those stats, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and look at the sacred curious. Now you see the stats on the right don't change because pretty much it's the same thing except as the black curious except for the defensive orb has changed to a white dot. So that has changed here. So let's go ahead and look at some new stuff. Purple dot has changed. Uh, our, you know, purple dots changed to a green dot with a thunder. And uh, evasion percentage boost is staying the same. Ice is blue. Crimson is red. And iron, you just lose the orb defense. And you keep the same... You, you keep the same plus five defense, but you actually get a little more evasion down here. So look at that. So, there is that. All right, cool. All right, let's go on to gold tier here. Let's uh, let's get crazy here. So, what does what does the mongrel curious do? Let's put that on there. Double green defense, HP plus fifteen, agility plus ten, defense plus ten. Very good, very very good. This is actually very good. Uh, be careful if you're going up against dragons or something has a lot of red orb attacks because now you're a little bit weaker to it. But if you have the Mongo Curious on a lizard man, like this guy, this guy will defend against uh, centaur shots and things like that a little bit better, just because he's got some green defense on him. All right, let's check out some other stuff here. 
Obsidian Curious. Ooh. So, uh, this gives us double black defense, because Obsidian, right? Uh, MP plus 20, HP plus 25, defense plus 7, and intelligence plus 10. So this would be more for a monster that wants to cast some magic, maybe a Lich or something like that. Just saying, you know, maybe get that extra Necro coming out of him. Could be something good. Okay, Azure Scale Curious. Now this one I use a lot, and I gotta tell you why. It has an extra mobility, so it lets you move one extra space. You can put this on a Balmut and make his, make his range run a Centaur and, and make make their range of movement like unbelievably far. And uh, it does give you double blue defense, and it gives you uh, 15 HP, defense of 10, and evasion plus 5. So extra mobility, a little extra evasion, defense, and HP on top. You can't go wrong with the Mongrel, or I mean with the Azure Scale Curious. It's actually a really good piece of gear. So take that to note. Forbidden Curious, what does this do? Forbidden Curious is red defense, HP 35, plus 35, that's huge. That is a huge boost. Seven extra defense and evasion for, for defensive purposes only. This might be one of the best. Forbidden Curious might be one of the best. Celestial. All right. Uh, double white defense, HP plus 10, seven defense. You get in there, intelligence plus 14, evasion plus five. Uh, this could be good for a knight, or this also could be good for defending against Rudo's clean military rule. You never know. Just saying. Could be. And the reason, you see why I put them on my Fenrir's here? <laughs> In case Rudo attacks them, I've got some uh, white defense on them. So that's the Celestial Curious there. That might be the last one. And yeah, that is the last one. So put on the uh, Celestial Curious. And um, that pretty much does it for the video. If you want to see bonuses for putting on all the gear, I've got some other videos, so I've covered that quite thoroughly. Uh, most of the bonuses are, are on the right side of the screen. It, it ups your agility strength, uh, intelligence, defense, and offense by about 5, then 7, then 10. And attack and defense can be a little bit different. And uh, HP and MP go up at different vari uh, variable ranges. So if you want to see some of that, check out some of my previous videos. Maybe maybe on my last video I'll cover that more. Or if we got a really short video next time, I'll, I'll probably cover that again. But otherwise, smash the like or subscribe for more. Help the channel grow and thanks everybody for being here. I, uh, I do enjoy making these and after we're done with this, we're going to try to cover knights. That could take a little while, but I'm going to try to get through that. And I've also got some other videos... Um, maybe strategic in nature, covering Grand Edition, and um, might even cover this as well. So I'll see you in the next video, see you in the next LP, or whatever. Take care, and thanks for coming by.